In this video, we'll introduce the Quick Control interface, which makes it easier to communicate with function generators and oscilloscopes. Quick Control allows you to work with these instruments in a syntax that's simple and easy to understand, without having to dig into communication protocols. So I'll show a quick example of Quick Control. So in this case, I'll create a Quick Control function generator, fgen, and I'll use it to connect to the Agilent function generator that I have here on my desk. Now before I can connect to the function generator, I need to specify what it is that I'll be connecting to, and that's called the resource, so I can get the available resources for F, and it'll scan through all the uh, possible hardware uh, connections that might be available for um, connecting to this. Now this takes some time to execute, so before I do that, let me open a script that we can, or a function that we can start talking through. All right, so I'll get this running, and in the meantime, Let's take a quick look at this function I've written called create waveform. So since I'm talking to a arbitrary waveform generator, I'd like to generate an arbitrary waveform and then download it to the device. So I begin by uh, defining a waveform composed of three uh, different amplitudes and three different frequencies. And for each amplitude and frequency, I generate a sinusoidal waveform. Then moving on, uh, I take those three different waveforms and I add them together to create a single waveform uh, that has components of all of those amplitudes and frequencies. And I can then add some random noise to that waveform. So now this waveform is composed of three sinusoids and random noise. All right, so let's see now that Get Resources has returned and it returns some COM ports that are available as well as these uh, GPIB addresses and my uh, Agilent waveform generator is on GPIB5 so I can simply use a common MATLAB dot notation to uh, set the resource to equal that. In uh, release 2016b or later you can use the resource method to set this. And once I've done that I can connect to F. You'll see now the variable F looks very different. It actually has all the details of the uh, FGen that it's connected to. It has the name of it, amplitude and frequency and so on, uh, and the waveform. And this behaves uh, much like variables that you'd be used to in MATLAB. Uh, for example, you can control properties using dot notation. So I can control the waveform uh, property, which is currently a sign. If I want, I can change that to any of these available waveforms, such as a square wave. And if I look over at my oscilloscope, I see that the sine wave has changed and is now a square wave. But as I mentioned earlier, I'd actually like to uh, make this an arbitrary waveform. So I'll use my create waveform uh, function to generate the data that I'd like to load onto my instrument. As with uh, any MATLAB object, if you're ever unsure of what functions there are for it, you can just call methods or review the documentation. If you call methods, you get a list of all the available functions. And I can see, ah, yes, um, I can download the waveform using the download waveform function. OK, and now it's downloaded uh, my custom waveform to the ARB. And so if I'm done with this, I can just disconnect from the function generator. Okay, one thing I like to do is collect all the functions I've used for something and uh, put them into a script. And here I can uh, collect all the whole set of commands for um, downloading this waveform onto the function generator. So now if I ever want to uh, download this specific waveform onto the function generator, I can just run this script. So if I clear CLC, I can do a sanity check by uh, running a function that I've created earlier called read waveform script. And that reads the waveform off of my oscilloscope, and I can confirm that it is the same uh, waveform that I downloaded to my function generator. 
All right, so we saw the quick control interface uh, is a really nice, easy to use interface uh, that's very comfortable and very familiar to someone who's used to working in MATLAB and used to MATLAB type syntaxes. And this will actually work with any IVC class function generator or oscilloscope.